Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, just an ultra nice evening, clear skies, mild temperatures and dry air. It's in the upper 60s to around 70 in a few locations. Head outside to Newport Harbor with great visibility and starry skies. It'll stay dry and comfortable right on through the overnight hours. High temps today coming in between roughly 80 and 85. Made it to 86 though in Taunton, 85 in Providence. We're thinking similar temperatures for tomorrow around 83, 84. Really another carbon copy. Gorgeous day, sunshine, low humidity. The dew points have been dropping off. The dew points yesterday were in the low 70s. It was muggy. It's already down into the mid and upper 50s, so an indication of the drier, more comfortable air. Clear in North Kingstown with a temperature coming in at 70, and Oakland Beach in Warwick is checking in with uh, 70 as well and clear skies. Nothing on Doppler radar. The satellite photo is clear. Most of New England is high and dry. Some of the rain from yesterday and last night, that tropical moisture now extending well offshore. Speaking of the tropics, we take it down to the Atlantic and Hurricane Dorian. Here is Florida and the Bahamas. I've been looking at the rate of the uh, satellite imagery all night long and seeing indications uh, just based on the satellite structure that it is getting better organized. And some of the things that we look for, one are thunderstorms that are flaring up near the center of the storm. We're starting to see that. And the shape of the cloud structure is t starting to take on more symmetry. So in other words, it's, it's more circular. So all these indications are that the storm is getting stronger. Now we're still waiting uh, from the National Hurricane Center to get the latest advisory. The wind's now still at 85 but more than likely those wind speeds will go up on the next advisory. And the forecast actually has significant, significant strengthening over the next 48 hours. So let's widen out the view, give you some perspective. Here is Florida and the uh, forecast track. Well, first of all, moving northwest at 13, 986, that's air pressure. So the lower the pressure, the stronger the storm is getting. So when these numbers drop and get lower, Another sign of intensification. The forecast track still remains, well, obviously unsettling. Uh, this is um, Sunday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Cat 3, and then strengthening to a Category 4 landfall around Labor Day Monday and then crossing the peninsula. Where on the Florida Peninsula the exact eye or center of the storm makes landfall remains to be seen. This yellow area represents the uncertainty. In other words, it could be as far south as Miami, as far north as the border of Georgia and, and South Carolina. So still several days to, to kind of iron out the finer details, but all eyes on the southeastern U.S. for a probable high impact storm, unfortunately. Clear skies here overnight. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Sunshine in the upper 50s, a beautiful day by the afternoon hours, somewhere between 80 and 84 inland, upper 70s, great beach day. Few extra clouds tomorrow evening with the approach of a cold front, but a mainly dry, comfortable Friday night by 11 o'clock Friday night, the temperatures are in the upper 60s. So gorgeous tomorrow morning, 60s early, rising through the 70s to eventually lower 80s, around 83 degrees, a breezy day, southwest winds picking up boaters. You've got a small craft advisory. Gorgeous on Saturday, few extra clouds, but not bad on Sunday, 75. Still going with a chance for scattered showers on Monday, and at this point, it doesn't look like a, a rain out, a washout, or a storm day, but some scattered showers and a high temperature coming in uh, in the upper 70s. I wish the news were better with Dorian, but getting much stronger next couple of days, and more than likely somewhere between Florida and uh, South Carolina uh, over the weekend. All right, Tony, thanks. Look